the properties within the protocols most people are usually using it but sometimes they are a bit confused about all the use cases for those properties so as we know protocols defined a blueprint of method properties and other requirements that suit a particular task or a piece of functionality the protocol can then be adopted by a class structure or enumeration to provide the actual implementation of those requirements so any type that satisfy or implement the requirement of a protocol is said to be conformed to that protocol so let's start by creating one protocol name person so properties within the protocols are always defined with a where keyword to test it let's create one property with a let keyword let first name string we should get an error let declaration cannot be a computed property so means protocol doesn't define whether this property is a stored property or a computed property it let the implementer to decide so let change this let keyword to where so we defined the gettable property here let's create gettable and settable property as well set so last name is a gettable and settable as well so firstly we are going to see all the use case for the gettable property so let's comment this out for now so case 1 to implement this protocol let's create one struct doctor so we should get an error here to implement this protocol yes so case 1 we can define the property with a where keyword so this is the first case as we have seen we can uh, implement this protocol and define this property with a where keyword so let's see case 2 we can define this property as a let keyword as well let and define some value so this should work fine so oh, let's change it to doctor 1 so we uh, we define this property as a stored property in the struct so let's see case 3 we can define the property as a computed property as well so where first name string and create name test and return name here so we can define the property as a computed property as well so this should compile fine let's see one more use case case 4 let's copy paste uh, this one doctor 3 so 
public private set where first name so uh, yes and create one function update name or uh, no there is no need of the self keyword we can simply access this so we defined the property with a private set we cannot set this property from outside now we are start getting an error cannot assign to property self is immutable to uh, so we need to define the mutable keyword here in function so to check this why we defined uh, why we uh, define the mutable keyword here check out my previous video within the channel so this should work fine so we have seen these are the four cases we can implement the property uh, we can implement the get properties of the protocol take the get set property so let's uncomment this and comment this first name as uh, let's comment all these for now so create one struct person so as we defined the last name as a get set so we can only uh, implement this property as a computed property we cannot implement this as a stored property like to test this let's create one stored property with a let keyword in the doctor for let last name as a string so we should get an error yeah this is saying that it doesn't conform to protocol because we have defined the let property here so let's change it to where so this error uh, should be away so we have seen uh, we can create the last name with a where keyword but we cannot uh, create the property with a let keyword now uh, let's define the getter setter so this is one of the case yeah case one now see the another case we can define the getter setter for the last name as well create where name as string and define some initial value sam so first getter return name and for setter name equal to new value so we can define in this way as well oh, invalid read declaration so let's change it to dr5 so this should compile fine so we can define the getter setter property uh, in this way as well now let's see one the one of the major difference between the get set and the get property let's uncomment this we need to define the name here test and define first name here as well so we 
should not get any error so we need to implement both the properties okay so now now let's create one object for dr5 Doctor five doctor dot first name equal to Vikas or doctor dot last name equal to Ahuja. So we can see now it should compile fine. yes so now we can see as we have defined first name as the get only property and last name with a get and set but still we are able to change the first name and last name both so we should like first name is the get only property but here we are setting the first name as well so the here is the major difference so now as we created the doctor object it is inferred the type of the doctor 5 not the person but if we specifically define the type as a person so we should start getting an error so now doctor is of the type person let's turn it now yeah so we start getting an error as first name is the get only property so we have seen here so by default if we doesn't define any type so it is taking the type of the implementer note the protocol itself so this is the major difference between the get and the get set property hope you guys like the video uh, so please subscribe to the channel Thank you and see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.